Here in Lagos, the state government has commenced the removal of illegal structures and shanties surrounding Jakonde Estate and Mayugun Ileki. Commissioner for the Environment, Tokumba Wahab, says this action aims to reclaim the coastal road alignment for the Lagos Calabar Highway project. Esther Mopariola has details. Recently, squatters around Jakonde Estate received relocation notices from the Lagos State Government. We will play this one this Friday. Whoever we meet, don't give a notice, we don't reach. Following the notice period, the enforcement team has demolished all illegal structures in the vicinity. Most structures and shanties now lie in ruins, with affected individuals seen salvaging what they can. Some claim they are unaware of the impending demolition, while others are demanding compensation. People inside the estate did not tell them anything, they did not notify them. Today, it was one policeman just came and talked to me that I should tell my people that they should move their things. And I said, but they didn't say they would come to this place. We saw where they put their, uh, where they placed their something there. They are from here to here. Government should try and compensate people that they are there. Because it's not easy for people moving from one place to another in this time of hardship. Most of them are nowhere to sleep, nowhere to go to their family. Some people, they don't have their widow, they don't have husband, they don't have even some men that doesn't have wife. Only him and the children, they are there. A senior official from the Ministry of Environment emphasizes that this enforcement action is aimed at enhancing the state's aesthetic appeal. Just as Mr. Governor has directed, anybody trying to um, change the urban development plans of the state would not be allowed. And this is a strong statement that all our spaces will be governed and will be manned. We want a situation where we can account for everybody within the state. Meanwhile, residents have been urged to comply with the state's environmental laws and refrain from altering the architectural plan of the state. Esther Mapariola, TVC News, Lagos.